Okay, so uh, usually what I did, I will write clear and then CSC. So clear, CSC. Okay, so everything will be clean. Okay, we go back to the editor just now, editor. Okay, so editor, whenever you press this new button here, then you will get editor. So editor is a place where you can write your own code here. Maybe your code is very long. Instead of writing in the command window, you can write in the editor. And then you can save the code. So the save code will be presented in the current folder. Okay, so let's uh, go through the tutorial. So Mallet is a self software package do for doing numerical computations. It was originally designed for solving linear algebra. So uh, using metrics. So MATLAB basically use metrics. So that's why it's uh, called MATLAB, okay, Matrix Lab. So MATLAB has been uh, expanded since then. So there are functions to do 2D and 3D graphics and animation. So kalau uh, uh, Rajin Explore, dia boleh buat 2D animation, boleh buat game juga. Okay, so uh, simple uh, rules in MATLAB. So whenever you define a variable name, some much subject CP three years ago. So whenever you define a variable name, then you must make sure that the variable is case sensitive. So if you define A equals one, for example, then A tak ada sebab A uh, is a new thing you need to define, okay? A smaller A and big A are different things. Okay, so variable name can contain up to 63 characters. Okay, uh, tapi buat apa nak nama main panjang sampai 63 karakter. Variable names must start with a letter and then can be followed by number, letters or underscore. So tak boleh define a variable by number. For example like 1, 2, A equals 1. Tak boleh. So you must define with uh, a letter first. And then there are some special variables that you cannot use the same name. For example, pi. So pi in MATLAB is pi. EPS, tak pernah guna. So infinity, INF is reserved for infinity values. NAN, not a number. So it's reserved already. So variable I and J, Usually ing are not reserved, tapi for uh, if you write ing, dia akan faham ing as a square root of one, minus one, or imaginary number. Real mean and real max, tak pernah guna. So be careful with pi, i and f, none, ing. So in MATLAB, uh, also have uh, operators. So the basic operators are like plus, minus, multiply, you use star, uh, divide, you use uh, slash, power, power of something, you use a uh, hat symbol, sama dengan, okay? So these symbols are reserved for mathematic operation. But sometimes if you want to use if else, you can use the symbol less than or less than equal, bigger than, bigger than equal, equals to, you need to use double equal sign and not equal. So in C programming, you use uh, apostrophe equal, but in MATLAB, it's this symbol, okay? Tak tahu apa symbol ni. So email also has logical operators. Like for example, not, you use this symbol. And, then, logical then, or logical n, you use n, the symbol n, n percent. And for logical or, you use the slash tapi menegak. 
straight slash vertical slash. Okay, so let's go and learn about matrices in MATLAB. So MATLAB treats all variables as matrix. So for our purpose, uh, a matrix can be thought of an uh, as an array. In fact, that is how it's stored. So dalam C programming, masa first year dulu, korang belajar array, masa ujung-ujung SAM. Uh, array yang dalam C programming tu susah sikit. Dan MATLAB ni senang sikit. Senang banyak. So vectors are special form of matrix. So vectors is a matrix but contains only either one row or one column. So in scalars, scalar value or a number, also a matrix but it has only one row and one column. So if you uh, define let's say A equals one, but they can keluar A dekat uh, workspace here. So in the workspace, if you double click the variable A, so when you double click, then a column or a table will come out. So this table will show all the values in the matrix. So in this case, matrix A is a scalar, is a number. So a scalar will have only one row and one column only. So in this case, it's equals one. So here, A is type double and the size is one by one. But A is also an array, but in this case, it's, an, it's a one by one array. So how to generate matrix? So here I show you already. So in this case, how to generate a scalar, then you can just define a number equals a, a variable equals a number. So for example, x equals 23. Then when you press x, then it will come out here, x as a scalar, one by one matrix. So how to create a two by two matrix? Or a more, um, a, a different size of matrix. So here we learn about vector first. So to create a matrix of only one row, or a row vector, then we use comma. We separate the numbers by comma and then we put a square bracket. So for example, y equals square bracket, one, two, three. So you separate them with comma and then close bracket. Press enter. Then if you click y on the workspace, then you will get y has two number, a uh, three number, and it's a row matrix. It's a row vector. And to create a column vector, instead of using comma, you use semicolon. Okay, so again, Y, so you just replace semicolon. So they become column vector. Okay, another trick in MATLAB is that uh, if you want to assess something uh, that you already delete in the command window, for example, you done delete in the command window, you done delete. So to assess, uh, to access uh, the things that already been deleted, you just press the top arrow, okay? Top arrow in your keyboard. So when you press the top arrow, then you can assess everything that you have written previously. So here in this case, I want to assess why that I already deleted. So I just search through using the up and down arrow. And I just press, press enter. Okay, so if you want to create, uh, just now you create either row matrix, a row vector or column vector. So how you want to create a matrix? Let's say here a three by three matrix. So you can uh, use the uh, comma and semicolon to design your matrix, okay? So for example here, okay? 
So you use semicolon, uh, comma to separate uh, the numbers in between column. So you use semicolon to separate the number in different rows. Okay. So comma for different column, semicolon for different rows. So matrix must be rectangular. So let's say if you create this matrix and then suddenly in your bawah ni ada terlebih kosong. The third row you have uh, extra zero. So what happened? You cannot create it because it's not of the same size, tak consistent size dia. So you must make sure that the size, uh, the amount of numbers are the same for different rows. Okay, back to the uh, X here. So when you press X in the workspace, then you will get uh, X in terms of uh, column um, in, in table form. So let's say you want to assess a number in X. Let's say kita nak number tujuh ni. We want this number seven. So to call that number, you just write X uh, bracket. So inside the bracket, you need to uh, refer the position of uh, this number. So in this case, number seven is on row number three, row number three and column number one. So you just write the row and column. So you just write row, comma, the column. Okay, so this will get number seven. Okay, so you access the number seven here. So to get number six, for example, then you just write X, row number two, column number three. Okay. So you need to, if you don't know the location of the numbers, then you, you can double click X on the workspace and then from here you can view the position which number that you want then you can call it so unlike C programming dalam C programming uh, it starts with zero if you still remember array it starts with zero but in MATLAB it always starts with number one okay? number one column number one and row number one but in C programming it's uh, column zero and row zero Okay, so let's say you want to create a new matrix from X. Let's say you want to create a matrix one, two, four, five. You want to split them up. Keluarkan dia. So you can simply write X. So you want uh, number one, two, four, and five. So this matrix, the smaller matrix here, is at row number one until row number two and at column one until column number two. So you just call it here from row one until, so the double dot here means until. So from row one until row number two, comma from column one until column number two. So when you press, you will get the matrix uh, the two by two matrix from the three by three matrix. Okay, if you want to try a different example, so let's say you want this column, you want this uh, three by two matrix, two, three, five, six, eight, and nine. So what you do is you just call the row. So the row is from row one until row three. And column two until column three. So column two until column three. So you get the three by two matrix. You can try this example. You can try this one.
Okay, ni tak payah. Okay, so you can do uh, matrix addition but you need to make sure that whenever you do matrix addition then you must make sure that the matrix must be the same size. Okay, so for example uh, here in this example uh, you create a matrix um, 2 by 2 matrix X and then you create another 2 by 2 matrix Y. So here in this case, X plus 5 means you add 5 for each of the element inside X. Okay, so you just add 5 to each of the element. So kalau uh, matrix plus a, a number, it's allowed, okay? If you do X plus a matrix, then you must make sure that the matrix must be the same size. Okay, so for example, you want to do x plus y. So y and x already of the same size, then you will get the number, the answer. So for example here, if you define a variable z. So z is a 1 by 2 matrix. So you want to add x plus z, then tak boleh sebab dia tak sama size. So you will get this error, matrix dimension must agree. So here, bila ada error ni, maksudnya your matrix are not the same size. So, tak boleh tambah. So, same thing for subtraction, addition and subtraction, the same rules. You must make sure it's the same size. The matrix must be the same size. So, for matrix multiplication, So for matrix multiplication, you have to uh, make sure that the size are uh, bukan sama tapi uh, valid for multiplication. So if you still uh, remember uh, matrix multiplication masa uh, tak tahu sekolah menengah, if you multiply B times A, so B is a 1 by 2 matrix, and A is a 2 by 2 matrix. So when you multiply B times A, then you must look at the um, the column of B, which is 2, and the row of A, which is 2. So if they are the same, then you can multiply B with A. But if you want to do the other way around, which is A times B, so you look at the column A, which is 2, and row B, so row B is 1, so they are not the same, then you cannot do multiplication between A times B, but you can do B times A. Okay, so yang ni dah belajar dulu masa sekolah menengah, uh, maths modern. Okay, so you will get this error, inner matrix dimension must agree, means that uh, the dimension is not agreed, then you tak, tak boleh buat multiplication. So in MATLAB, you have another multiplication for matrix. We call it element-wise multiplication. So element-wise means that uh, you multiply element by element. So in this case, uh, the element of A is uh, it has four elements, and for B also, uh, for B also has four by four element, a two by two element, four elements. So here, what you want to do is you want to multiply element one of A with element one of B, element two with element two of B element 3 of A with element 3 of B. So you want to multiply element by element. So to do that, you need to use dot star, okay? So regular matrix multiplication, you use star, but for element wise, you use dot star. So you use uh, C equals A dot star B. So you get element wise multiplication. 
So in Mat MATLAB, there are two different multiplication. You have regular multiplication, which is only star, and you have also element-wise multiplication, which is A, which is dot star. So same thing for division. You have a slash for division. And for element-wise division, you have dot slash, okay? So here is another example. So you have dot slash for division and dot star. And also power, also you can have element-wise power. So you use dot hat, okay? Dot hat for power. Means that each of the element is powered to And you can also do element-wise power operation by matrix, meaning that each of these element is powered by uh, element of A. Each of the element is powered by each of the element in B. Means one power of two, two power of two, one power of two, three power of one. Okay, element-wise power. Okay, so in MATLAB, there are many more functions that you can uh, explore. So I don't know all functions because uh, MATLAB, whenever you want to use MATLAB, you, whenever you want to use a function, then you can simply Google, okay? Let's say you want to calculate uh, the cosine, for example, um, you have a number A equals one. You want to determine cosine one. For example, you want to determine cosine one. So you, if you Google, then you can just write cos one, okay? So whenever you want to use something in MATLAB, you can always Google. Google first, whether it has a function or not. If it doesn't have a function, then you need to create your own function. But most of the time, there will be a function, a lot of functions. Uh, there are a lot of functions in MATLAB, so you need to explore, okay? So I don't know everything. So these are example of functions that you can use in MATLAB. Okay. Nanti uh, try to explore. Okay, so uh, we call it inbuilt function, but here there's a inbuilt max function also in MATLAB. Like for example, cosine, sine, absolute value, sign i don't know what is sign exponential log so you have log so log is natural log and log 10 is log to the base 10. you have the function ceiling floor ceiling floor ni untuk bundar tak sure macam mana nak guna lupa dah kena baca balik around pun bundar juga and you have a real and imaginary function which uh, used to differentiate uh, the real part and the imaginary part of a number. And you have a function to sort a number in ascending order. There are many, many more function. You can have a function sum. So let's say you have a number yang banyak, nak kira semua, takkan nak tulis satu tambah satu, one by one kan, it will be very, very, Memenat kan? So you just write sum. For example, A equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Nak kira total dia takkan nak tulis 1 plus 2 plus atas tangan. So you can just write sum. A tak ada jawapan. Okay, tak payah tulis satu-satu. But each of this function, there are rules how to use it. Rules di semua ada dekat Google. Some function uh, dia kena guna ada ada rules di sikit, different rules that you need to use. But most of the time you can simply write uh, just like this, sum A. For example like max. From this number you want to determine the maximum. Which one is the maximum? So you can write max A. Apa yang maximum dalam A? So it's the number 7. So max, uh, number 7 is the maximum in in A. Or you can use the mean to, to, to calculate the mean of the number in A. So you just write mean, A, dapat 4. 
Tak percaya betul tak? Ha, kira dengan kalkulator Or you can calculate the standard deviation For example yes, But most of the time the function will be uh, Simply write like this okay? Max bracket A Sum bracket A But sometimes different function might uh, Function differently okay? Hmm. Tiba terus graph Okay, so we learn a bit about uh, how to do function. Okay, so let's go into plotting graph and then kita uh, habiskan kelas hari ini. Okay, so in this uh, example, uh, it shows you how to plot a 2D graph. So here plot sine x and cosine x over 0 until 2 pi on the same plot with different colors. Okay, so uh, I will suggest you to copy this code and put it in the editor. After put it in, in the editor, just delete the, uh, the larger than symbol. And then betulkan a few things like this um, symbol here, rewrite. Rewrite as well. Okay, so whenever you uh, have, after you copy it and paste it here and do some adjustment, then you can save first, save, and then save it with a name. Okay, so name it uh, here. I want to name it uh, Sam Dua Example One. Okay, so I've saved it, and then you can press run after you saved it. Oh, lambat juga dah tu eh. Okay, so after you press uh, run, then you will get a graph. So what happened here actually is that the purpose of the first line here, x lin space. So lin space here, the purpose is it divides uh, the number from 0 until 2 times pi by 100 equal space, okay? So kosong hingga 2 pi, they divide by 1000, 1000 of equal spacing. So 2 pi bagi 1000, so adalah method dia kira. So after the divide, then it becomes the value of x. And then the second and third row here is about calculating the sine x and cosine x. And then you press hold on, hold on is uh, to make sure that this graph, this plot here, uh, is held until you ask the graph to stop be, being held, okay? So the purpose of hold on is that you want to plot two things here, two separate graph, graph of Y and graph of Z. So if you don't have the hold on, so the symbol uh, percent here is for commenting. So if you don't have the hold on, what happens is that they can keluar graph yang paling last sekali, which is the plot for Z. Sebab after, every time you plot something, it will replace the previous plot. So whenever you plot something, if you don't have the hold on, then it will uh, delete the previous plot and plot for the latest one that you plot, okay? So that's the purpose of hold on. Supaya tak delete graph yang sebelumnya. Okay, so uh, in the plot, uh, baris lima and uh, enam, you want to plot uh, y versus x, okay? So you put x first, 
and then y. So same for uh, the second one, z versus x. So the the third value here is the color color of the graph. So there are a lot of colors that you can explore later uh, using Google. So here uh, B represent blue and G represent green. So you can uh, change it to different color. For example, R, R represent red. And uh, I think Y, Y represent yellow. Kalau black apa dah lupa dah. Black bukan B lah, black uh, huruf lain. Okay, so you get red and yellow. So you can uh, explore later, there are a lot of colors. Okay, C is uh, cyan, cyan color apa tak macam hijau sikit, hijau kebiruan. Okay, so for line 7 and 8, it's about uh, labeling the axis. So to label the axis, you simply write X label and a single, uh, apa ni, tak tahu nama dia. And then you write the names, X values. So same thing for Y and same thing for title as well. So title, you write the title name and a single quote, okay, single quote. So to, to put the legend here, this legend, Y data and Z data, you simply write legend, a bracket and then put Y data. So Y data, the first one here, represent the first graph and the second value here represent the second graph so kalau you switch places then z data will be for the first graph y data for the second graph okay so make sure you put the name according to the arrangement or the sequence of the plot so after you plot and label everything you can uh, hold off okay so hold off ni tak payah tulis pun tak apa sebenarnya. Enough with hold on. Okay, so that's how you plot a graph and change uh, the values, uh, the colors, you write the label. So nanti dalam test, uh, the question will be something like plot the results with complete label and title and legend, for example. So I expect you to know how to put legend, table, uh, title, label, so macam uh, salah label, uh, hilang lah sikit-sikit markah macam tu. Okay, so this is basic, uh, I think you can uh, try it yourself later. Okay, so uh, I think that's all for today. So tomorrow we will go into learning more about plotting and how to do um, Mm, if else, okay, if else for loop and also a bit on how to write function. Okay, so that's all for today. Any question before we end our lecture?